YouTubers, Fortune Cookie 45 LC, coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone. And you know how many times I've said that the sport of bowling is very similar to our shooting? Because in both, we shoot up a storm. Now, YouTubers, this happens to be a full weight 16 pound bowling ball. And you know Fortune Cookie 45 LC likes to have heavy lead, a heavy shot. So there really is a lot of similarity, isn't there? Well, what's the point of this video? And that is, in bowling, they use bowling pins. And the thing about bowling pins is that the bowling alleys need to get a constant supply of new bowling pins. Because, see, these are covered with a very tough plastic coating that's very similar to what Remington used on the firearm wood back in the 70s and 80s. An RKW finish. So this is a new bowling pin, but what do you suppose bowling alleys do with the old bowling pins? Is they put them in these boxes and they store them until they have enough to dispose. Now you can't burn these because the plastic coating will give off noxious fumes. So they have to throw them away. Well what happens is we shooters can go to bowling alleys and ask them for two or three cases of bowling pins. So I have a case here but I used to have like six cases and I'm down to my last case. Well these can be shot and when they're full of bullets then you just throw them away. But the advantage of these are that they're free, they make good targets, and they don't set off any sparks like steel will when you hit them. No, there's no danger of setting off a fire if you have dry brush around with bowling pins. So YouTubers, next time you go bowling you might ask the alley to give you two or three cases of used bowling pins. They'll be glad that you take them off their hands. Now when you ask the alley for their used bowling pins, you might suggest that you just drive the car around to the back entrance because that's where they'll keep the pins and you just load them right into the trunk. Handy. Bye for now.